हेलो सम हाउ यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल तो गाइज टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोर ऑन लूप्स एज वी हैव डिस्कस फॉर लूप एंड डो लूप्स कंप्लीटली विद सिंटैक्स एंड फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोर एंड मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन दिस कॉम्बिनेशन विद लूप्स एंड कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स एज इन इंटरव्यूज वील बी हैविंग मोर ऑन वॉट आर प्राइम नंबर सीवन एंड ऑन एक्सेट्रा so we'll become we'll be covering few of the interview questions so that it might be easier for you guys to for the interview right so let me open this so today we have uh, set an agenda for prime numbers so without further ado let us see the type of questions we can get in prime numbers first type of question we'll get is uh, to print the prime numbers from 1 to 100 or 1 to 50 or something like that and second scenario is a given number is prime or not so these two scenarios we'll be discussing today guys so let us set an agenda for today agenda is uh, to discuss two topics print print first 55 numbers this will be the first question and second question will be check whether the given number is prime or not so these are the two scenarios guys first scenario is print first 50 prime numbers or first 100 prime numbers the logic is same we just have to change the loop number from 50 to 100 to get first 100 to to any number to get first uh, 50 or 100 prime numbers and check whether the given number is prime or not it will be another example a similar kind of code is involved but logic will be a little different on that so let us set uh, let us save this as an agenda and let me save as let me write agenda Prime. Save this. Close it here. Let me double-click this again so we can write the program. So let me remove this agenda and remove this also. So that first topic what we're going to discuss will be the first fifty prime numbers. screen is going backwards so i and zoom the little bit so the further you guys let us uh, go to the prime numbers so let me take one variable as prime so keep the value of prime to be 1 initially so i'll be running a loop of first 50 prime numbers so let us let me run a loop of a value i'll just write it down here So number equal to two to fifty, and then I will take another loop of i to check um, from two to n minus one. So this loop is very important. Just uh, take this number for me. Now your condition comes if anything. Uh, If, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll write the condition then, and let you know if number mod i equal to zero. Then, so um, if we divide prime numbers, any prime number, the mod will not come to zero. Any number which will be divisible by itself is a prime number. Like if four, four, four can be divisible by two, right? It it is a composite number. Prime number. Let's take five. Five is divisible by five and one, right? So one and one end by itself, it's called a prime number. So two will come in the, into that area itself. Five will come. Seven will be there. Nine will not come because nine is divisible by three also. So uh, this uh, logic will be important, guys. So number mod i will be if it is zero, then it is not a prime number. So the flag of prime that is set to zero here. 
and uh, one more important thing to notice here exit for which i think i missed in previous sessions exit for is immediate termination of a for loop okay let me write one more condition here else condition so else else if that is not mod of i is not equal to 0 that can have prime equal to 1 and if let me write a condition here okay well, i'll terminate the loop let me write one condition if prime is 1 right so i don't know I'll, i will not be message box because i don't want I don't want double click the program all the time. For comfort, for our comfort, let me write temp equal to ten ampersand. What is the number we are getting? Number ampersand. Is a prime number. So of each and everything, I'll put a VBLF statement. Okay, so it will come into the next line. So I'll end this uh, if condition. I'll end this loop. I'll write message box. Okay, fine. Let me let me explain the logic of prime numbers here i took one flag of prime so that initially the prime flag will be one or you can take as a boolean value s yes or no so i'm typing from 2 to 50 the first 50 prime numbers the the loop runs from 2 to n minus 1 so what are the value of the number so this will be number minus 1 right so number of mod i equal to 0 then prime equal to 0 and exit for so as i've explained this is one of the important uh, logic here any number which is divisible by itself and one is only a prime number if it is divisible by any other number apart from uh, one and itself it's not a prime number so this condition defines that so prime will be 0 here and exit for so your prime equal to 1 and then end if and then it will be a next then we'll terminate this loop here this loop uh, will run for each and every number of this loop so this true loop runs so after exit of this loop so i'll be printing the number is a prime number and message box stamp so let me save this save as so let me write uh, 50 prime numbers dot abs. Let me save this. Close it. This is the guys, as you can see here. I'll expand this for you so that it will be visible properly. See, you guys, 2, 3, 5, 7. So on up to 47. These are the prime numbers. So what if I can give 100, right? What if I can dynamically pass? I can edit this. Let me double click it and let me minimize the screen a little bit. What if I give 100 here? So it should type up to 100 prime numbers. Then this becomes 100. Let me save this. In the first 59 prime numbers, it will be 100. But anyway, I'll not change the name. So it will be a huge number now. So uh, I think it's fairly visible, but still I'll expand. I'll keep somewhere here so that I'm expanding. Um, once screen zooms out, you see properly. So expand this. See? 247, 50, 59, 
so let me zoom the screen out so guys hope this uh, session uh, session was inter informative if you like this video please click on the like button if you are new viewer please click on subscribe and hit the bell icon so guys till then uh, take care bye bye have a great day